Hello again, and welcome to a, another N scale layout update. Uh, right now, we are at the starting of my intermodal facility. Um, this is all rough, roughly draft. The track plan I, I got here is is set, but where the crane and the containers are, that's roughly set. I don't know what, exactly if I'm going to keep them there or not. But I've got, as you can see, I've got oh, do, do, do. two two tracks for my intermodal yard. That's all I need right now until I get my own house with a big basement. <laughs> then we'll go from there. But I got two tracks. Uh, one of these is going to be an inbound. One of them is going to be an outbound, or vice versa. I haven't decided really which one, but <clears throat> both are big enough to fit, you know, four or five plus an engine. You know, if it's, you know, five in the this first one, it could be five in this one and still have the engine, you know, kind of, kind of sticks out, but oh well. <clears throat> No biggie. Right now I'm going to be running on DC, so there's only going to be one engine on the layout till I get um, a DC, DCC system and some decoders for some of my locomotives. But, uh, sorry for the shakiness again, but this is my intermodal. And then it comes down. Comes over to a switch, obviously. Uh, ground throw. All this right here is all corked down, um, corked all the way from there to here and down till about right at the end of that passenger train. But this is my, one of my crossovers. I'm gonna keep this here. I like it here. It's neat. Um, it's easy and convenient didn't realize how high uh, I think it was 40 or 42 inches really is compared to the floor so that comes up to about my ribs lower lower ribs um, crossings right here these will be to the entrance to both the intermodal facility and the coal mine back there, I'll get to that in a second. Excuse the mess. Um, that's what happens with all that, so you get a mess. But, comes over here, got two uh, girder, br girder bridges, is that what they're called? Yeah, plate girder bridges. Uh, once again, corked here on both tracks comes up to a switch right here. This goes to the staging yard, which I will get to um, later down the road. Don't need a yard right now. It's just playing. Uh, I can shine some light in here. Um, there's a, well, I guess, Warren Truss Bridge yeah, above. And then there's also one below it. If you can see right there. Had to carve out some grooves. Um, right in here. That's going to be my coal mine. Um, and it's gonna it's be like a two track. One, one, once again, in and out, or coal or taconite, because I got some taconite cars. But the uh, double main is going to go all the way around to the back where the UPS, uh, USPS box is. And then maybe somewhere around here or here, I'm going to have it branch off into a um, grain silo or a grain facility, whatever. I, it's still in the works right now. I haven't gotten everything planned out um, 
everything to right here. Here's some more uh, crossings. This will be for the grain facility and whatnot. I don't know. Um, everything up to these two are completely nailed down. Um, yeah, all, this, all this is nailed down. It's going to have a little drop in the intermodal facility in all industries. I'm not going to have the cork. I'm not even going to bother, you know, it's not going to be high traffic area. Uh, excuse me. So, I have to elevate my all my switches. But, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the wires here or not, or going to have those operating. I don't really know too much on electrical turnouts. That's why I was going, planning on going with all manuals. But, <clears throat> I've got two of the three um, coal trains here. You know, this is my uh, DD40AX from Bachman. And this is my biggest engine. This is the biggest engine I'll have on here. Um, so, as we go, make sure the f switch is flipped, and I'll show you that this, this is very important that this decides to clear the bridge. Get the flashlight, but I mean it. It barely clears it. You, know, you might not be able to see it, but there's you can fit a two or three hairs in there, and that's it. And I've tried this at high speed, you know, running my fingers across, and it clears both. Well, actually, it clears all four bridges, so. That's a plus. I don't know if what I would do if I didn't wasn't able to run this one. It's such a nice engine. Handles all the turnouts that I put in so far. Even um you know, this two crossovers here and into the intermodal. So I've got no problems. I've got I've got fours and sixes all over here. I don't know what I think all these are fours right now. And uh, six will be over in the facility there. Um, these and where's the other one? <sighs> this. They all they're all comfortable with these switches right here too. So I'm all all happy about that. This is um, right now. This little coal train right here is going to be my uh, short lines company owned um, hopper cars my class 3 I think yeah class 3 and then over here these are going to be my class 1 uh, hopper cars for Union Pacific oh, I also forgot these these are also my uh, class three uh, ones. They will be pulled by this um, dash seven, you know, two truck dash seven. Uh, I finally got it working again. I guess you know magic, but that's going to be with uh, these and these. <clears throat> So that'll probably be dedicated just to the coal mine. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the CSX engine's probably going to be with the U Union Pacific. Just maybe at least units. I don't. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, if I get a another Union Pacific or CSX, I might have. You know, whoever be the dominant ones. Right now it's turning out to be a tie. Because I've got, counting sub-railroads sub that the company owns, like Chicago Northwest or the Chessie system, whatever. You know, their CSX and UP is, are tied. Uh, I know I'm rambling on and on. It's going to have this short, but... As for the track layout, I think I'm about 
forty percent done. Um, got to pick some more of this cork road bit up. You know, a couple of people on Train Life have told me about it. Uh, Ian was one of them. So I went ahead and did it, Ian. Um, for all of, all you guys watching, I want to you know thank you for um, commenting, watching, um, subscribing. Yeah, I have as much fun watching the videos on people's layouts and how they're building them as I do making them. But I, re I really like how people build theirs because I can get ideas from that too. Uh, let's see. Getting really distracted. The Big Bang Theory's on right now, so I haven't turned my head once, but I'm really tempted to. <laughs> um, and I think that'll be it for right now. Uh, once I get a, once I get trick, uh, I'll set up in a circle going. I'll show a film of a train running, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And after everything's said and done, if I continue on the progress that I'm at, I will be ballasting um, maybe next week, end of next week, early uh, middle of April. So, I'm excited. This is turning out to be a real fun project. So... Um, and also, Sammy, if you're watching, I went ahead and uh, put some cork road bit under that switch, and as I get more uh, cork I have to cut off, I will be putting it on others. They worked. Thanks. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, if I'm saying um, I can't think of anything else, so... Uh, thank you for watching my video, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever, you know, if, any questions, you know, I'll be happy to ask, uh, da -da 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 -da. there's one other thing, no, I guess that's it, well, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good one.